Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about C Sharp versus Java. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I have a little question. In my experience, C Sharp is more feature rich and has a better ecosystem and tooling than Java. Yet most tech giants such as the fan companies use Java Enterprise Edition, not C Sharp, C -sharp even in new projects. Why is that? Well, the I can just give you the common reasons, but you'll have to ask whoever makes the decisions uh, or the group of people because it's in like those very big companies it's very rare that you're gonna make one single person the person who takes like all the decisions techni technology wise but the process is usually the same so the main reason why C Sharp is not as prominent as Java in these larger corporations is because Java is uh, run runs on most of the platforms that these companies are using. Most of these companies have Linux based distributions when they're running their infrastructure. They're not Windows oriented companies. They're more diverse than that. And although C Sharp and Microsoft, I mean, I don't think anybody has missed that Microsoft is like they're consuming almost the entire open source world at this point. And uh, I think that the reason behind that is very much so that. C like the value system of Microsoft has traditionally been that well we want to own you we want to own everything you do and the entire ecosystem around you and everything you could possibly want we're going to provide to you and they've realized that that's just not something that the really big tech giants want no company like a, a company such as Google or Facebook or Amazon or whatever they're never going to get put themselves in a position where they depend on that well it's very unlikely at the very least that they would put themselves in a position where they depend on that Microsoft will give them all the things because that's the that's their deal right that's what they want Amazon wants to own you and they don't want to be owned by Microsoft so the uh, that is usually the main reason now there are people who will tell you and I promise you they will even post most likely things on this video if I don't say anything about that that uh, through containerization and through the innovations that are going on in Microsoft right now with the C Sharp language, it is getting to the point where C Sharp can run on Linux distributions and so forth. And I mean, shit, it wasn't. Uh, I, gave, I was very happy to see that I could actually do C Sharp development uh, with the .NET framework on my Mac, my my MacBook, which I thought was awesome. But you have to understand just because you add these features in that doesn't mean that a company such as say amazon who has a code base that is much older than all of these new things that are coming out that they're just going to as i said re uh, like m put themselves in this position but also just the rewrite in of itself is going to cost enormous amounts of time and money and it also brings infrastructure questions as i said just because you have started moving in that direction with C Sharp, that doesn't mean that it's perfect. It doesn't mean that it's where it needs to be. Uh, there are political considerations as well as I was mentioning. And finally, you you still have to understand that you have existing code and existing libraries and like all of this investment in the Java platform. That's not something that you are readily going to just throw out the window. It's actually one of the reasons why when you get into a larger company even though you might not have the perfect tech stack you have to understand that yes if you come in as a junior developer and you say hey you know what uh, we should rewrite this in golang or node or something else it, that's like you it's like the the biggest rookie mistake that you can make because the reality is that the company that you are in they're going to want to be making money and just because you want to work in a new language or some language has like a new feature, that doesn't mean that they're going to throw away their existing code base because the cost of doing that, guys, is enormous. Just think about it yourself. If we just ignore for the, fa the fact that 
the, all the man hours that's going to go into typing out all of those features, all the regressions, the inconsistent states and the scheduling of projects and so forth. It is an enormous undertaking to do this. So even if you were to start a new project, now you has, have, there's a, in my experience, you should a bit of political pressure here as well. Depending on the company that you go with, uh, they might actually tell you what languages they accept that you pick, even if you get to pick your own thing. And in some cases they may not care, but here's the question now. You as the software developer, the developers uh, who are gonna say, go against the flow now and pick C-sharp in an all Java company. Well, if you did get to do that, hopefully you don't depend on anything existing within the, like the way that things are working. As I was saying, a, a, you, you cannot opt into any of the libraries, any of the pre-made code or anything like that that might be very critical to the success of the product that you are working with. So you can imagine that you have to have a really good reason to your stakeholders, especially if, I mean, just because you're an engineer doesn't mean that you have, you can completely decide on your own what decisions are going to be made because you have, say, product owners and other people who are actually more invested in the product development part of whatever you're doing. And if you tell them that, hey, we want to just arbitrarily, because we like this language better than this language, say that we're going to put in all this extra work and all this extra effort to bet on this language. You're, as I was saying, you're gonna have to have a really good, good reason to do that, and usually it's much easier for you to just go with the flow and just continue down the road that you've already been on. And so, if Java is the thing that has been used up until now, why not just continue with it? Because they, like, if uh, just because you have a richer ecosystem or that you have more features in the language that doesn't mean that doesn't mean anything it's just that's like personal happiness for the developers at best you need something more meaty to come with that is going to bring some real business value or something that really gives you that motivation in the cost value analysis because that's at the end of the day what everything is about cost benefit like how much is this going to cost us and how much are we going to get back for that investment so what i want you to take away from this is that usually why the big companies uh, are invested in java and they don't migrate to c sharp is because java was there it was where it needed to be it was um, it was platform agnostic before c sharp even approached that idea and that is a big thing for a lot of companies to not get into this vendor lock-in type of situation and even if you fix it today even if c-sharp becomes market uh, uh, platform agnostic the code is already there like all of this investment and it's going to take quite some time before you get to a point where companies see that well you know what we should actually migrate over to say c-sharp or something like that uh, it's the same journey in many cases that languages like Rust and Golang and all these other trendy languages that you hear about these days, uh, they're going through the same sort of thing. C Sharp is in many ways actually, I think, ahead of the curve in that area because that's a very proven platform and Microsoft is a very proven company. So they have some really good prospects at actually motivating people to finally kill Java or like what if that's ever going to happen. But it's you, you have to understand the investment is enormous and if you're going to start a new project unless you can feel fairly certain that it's going to be you know it's a good investment to pick c-sharp the uh, you you're most likely going to get a lot of political pressure and a lot of incentive to just go with the thing that already is there because if you don't pick that thing you're going to have to start from scratch or you're going to have to figure out a way to make this a sustainable thing instead of going with something that is already proven and secure within the company. Have a great day.